Auto Tune Gaming Night Quirk on Xbox Live. I'll be reviewing games on Xbox and PlayStation 3. Uh, this will be my new YouTube channel, Auto Tune Gaming. Uh, basically, the whole objective is to kind of put a review out, kind of tune my voice. You know, like T-Pain, So you start watching the intro, you're like, damn, this game's gonna be, uh, pretty legit. Uh, to me, I wasn't a big fan of this game. Uh, I was really pumped to play it at first, but, you know, didn't, it's not my kind of game. So over here, I'm just starting the game, uh, from my previous game. As you can see, the lighting in dark places are actually pretty nice, unlike some other games I've played. As you can see here, I am running around, showing you the map, aiming in to show you the scope on the current gun I have. There are plenty of guns in this game. Um, I just played a little bit of the game so far, as you can see. Found some customizations for your character um, as you move forward in the game. Big flaw I've noticed though, the maps are pretty damn big. Um, they're, at, they're at that point when you don't want to be walking around the map anymore. So right here I'm just uh, running around, kind of shooting things. Uh, randomly these little skags come out at you. You know, so I'm just shooting them, messing around. Um, I do have to go to some guy and accept my challenge or whatever, because I did it before. I don't really remember. It's been a while since uh, I played this. So right here is the pause menu. Uh, you can kind of see that there is uh, these things where you can upgrade your dude. Uh, mission log. Uh, and there's plenty of things that you can just look through and kind of see the map. Uh, it's pretty much everything. That you really need it's like an essential thing that you should be pausing the game very often actually but right here i'm accepting a, a challenge and i'm going to go and do whatever he asked i didn't really read it didn't really care i don't know it's boring this game's boring to me so i now have to go walk across the map which is going to take me another i don't know two minutes to go across the map and then load a minute I don't know, it's pretty stupid. Uh, look, more of these skags are coming after me again. I don't know why. I guess they just come out of that little cave thing every time you walk by them. Just kind of retarded to me, but whatever. This game chooses to have them pop out all the time. Some of these creatures in this game actually move rather pretty quick for a sniper. Uh, don't know why I have it out, but I do. It's the only thing that I found fun in this game to use. Uh, as you can see here, I got a critical hit on one of the enemies it's kind of cool uh, I also leveled up there as you can see there I I don't know what the controls are I've kind of been busy with Modern Warfare 2 lately so I'm just pressing random buttons but you have to collect your money as you pick it up and you gotta collect your ammo and everything so you gotta press X instead of B I guess that was another thing that aggravated me pretty damn bad was uh, the GPS type system that they tried to build into it there's like a little green icon on the bottom of the screen, told you where to go, left, right, I don't know, in the middle. Uh, it was kind of stupid. Uh, I didn't feel that it actually t pointed me to the right direction. So then this really quick, positives, great guns, tons to choose from, customization for your character is fun, uh, graphics are good for being a cartoonish game, and the negatives, maps are too large. Multiplayer, I don't like to play co-op, I would like to play against people, I didn't really like the system they set up, and uh, the game can get really boring at times. Uh, my opinion, don't buy this game, only rent it. It's only worth as a rental to me. Have fun gaming and be safe. Be sure to check out metagamer.com. Auto-tune gaming.